Film from Ireland. Um, if you get through the barfing in the first two minutes, uh, this is a great film. Um, I remember really like this. This film stayed with me for a while after watching it because I'm 14 years sober, but basically I've had days like this, and it is not funny at the time. And that's what makes sometimes great comedy. Com sometimes comedy is the lens. Laughter meets sadness, and sometimes deep sadness with a proper lens and a proper perspective equals the greatest comedy, and this is one of those examples. Um, guys having a bad day, and um, the way they filmed it and the way they set everything up, um, it's, it's kind of almost shot in a dramatic way, but his performance in the tone of the film in the situations is kind of like not a slapstick, but it hits that kind of like edge of the slapstick where we feel for this guy and um, we want to know, we want him to, to succeed in the so-called interview. But at the same time, he we laugh when he has many shenanigans uh, taking place during the time. Of course, there's a great scene in the end. I don't want to give it up because people were watching this film before that. It was but. amazing. It was a funny comedy. Uh, I've never seen a movie start with that much retching, and uh, yeah, it's uh, just. That kind of gross comedy that I like. I'm not going to lie. There were times when the interview was definitely hard to watch. This is a very visceral piece. There's a lot of really tight camera angles. Uh, the The sound is very realistic. Uh, this guy is having the worst day ever, and it makes you feel really bad for him. A story of the worst possible day you could ever experience. Which was uh, both horrific and quite funny. <laughs> I'm sure we've all had brief moments like that, but fortunately not quite so uh, so dark and full of uh, challenges. But uh, it was uh, very well done, and the, the main actor was quite good and, uh, again, seemed real. It... Uh, you know, it really got to me a little bit. Um, so this so perfectly showed the desperation uh, and darkness, yet complete hilarity that is encapsulated in a lot of these situations. Um, I thought it was very funny. Just overall, very, very funny movie. Um, <laughs> his face, the actor's face, um, really did the story a lot of justice. And this sheer disbelief at what situation he had gotten himself into purely amazing comedic timing and um and small things that made this the comedy behind this really pop and loved the uh end the hilarious end and the song combination perfect way to cap it off I it was really interesting and enjoyable and very believable you know i think the filmmaker pool of the scenes of the hangover really well they were quite believable and I would have preferred that he didn't end at the washroom. I would have wanted to see if he went to the interview, what happened there, how did he come across to the interviewers, or did he give up? Did he go back home or something? I would have preferred it to be longer instead of just ending abruptly at the in the washroom. But aside from that, it was beautiful, beautifully done. Great job. This film is about a guy having a day so bad that Daniel Powder might write a song about him. It has some great camera angles. I love the shot at the mirror where he's shaving and we see him, his reflection, framed by his own legs. It's a classic Western movie shot. And I like the way they made the stairs look so steep when he was trying to leave in the morning. It's just great camera angles to make that happen. Very effective use of sound. The gurgling bowels on the street. Oh, when we hear that sound, we know what's coming next. And of course, there was that horrible cell phone with the extremely annoying ringtone. Didn't you just want to smash it? He's not a terribly sympathetic character at the get-go, but we come to feel for him because he's just having a day. Nobody deserves a day that bad. And the story is unresolved. I guess we don't need a resolution. This poor man's just having the, the worst day of his life.